try my best. Uh, and uh, first of all, uh, let me thank the people who are uh, uh, organizing this event. Uh, I was met by Marie Louise uh, and Nashville at the beginning. Uh, and uh, they, uh, they told me about their project of, uh, uh, of encouraging women to be more active in uh, uh, in the society, and I was asked to give a little bit brief about uh, uh, my life or my experience as women, uh, as working women. Uh, and uh, some questions were asked <laughs> from me, uh, and I tried to uh, realize uh, a few uh, areas that I would like to talk about. Is, uh, uh, first of all, uh, for uh, about women in United Arab Emirates, especially that uh, my country is fairly new country. I always say I'm one year older than my country, so uh, it's, uh, our experience is a little bit at its uh, beginning. Uh, and for women uh, in this uh, country um, uh, to achieve uh, uh, what have been done during the last 40 years. Uh, I believe we, we are uh, walking in the right direction. Uh, I mean, um, uh, as statistics says, in uh, 1975, uh, 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 women were 87% uh, uh, illiterate. Uh, that number changed to, uh, I'm putting my statistics here so I don't forget. <laughs> Um, uh, it's on uh, the illiterate women in United Arab Emirates now 7.6 percent only. So in 40 years, that I believe is a great achievement. Uh, women were given the right to uh, uh, practice every, uh, nearly every uh, kind of career. Uh, we even have our university for uh, um, uh, military studies for women, uh, which was established 1991. Uh, Women now in the parliament, in, uh, as uh, we have four ministers, uh, three ambassadors, and uh, um, I mean, there is no literally um, any kind of job that is just uh, made for women, uh, for men only in, uh, in United Arab Emirates. And for a country that's so conservative like uh, uh, United Arab Emirates, I believe that we managed to get. Uh, 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 our society to be, I mean, uh, fairly um, uh, uh, acceptable for the role of the woman and its uh, uh, progress that we are achieving in the last uh, few years. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, and uh, to speak about also the, uh, uh, the work um, uh, and for, uh, for, um, force in the United Arab Emirates, we have some of the jobs like in uh, uh, edu education field. Uh, uh, the majority actually women uh, work in these fields. Uh, it's about 66% of uh, the workers in these fields are women. Um, in investment also, uh, women are very uh, active in that field. Nearly 11,000 uh, women work as uh, uh, as investors and uh, businesswomen. Uh, well, this is, I think, a little bit about my country. Uh, and I was asked the second question about myself, about my career, and how I reached that uh, position. Um, uh, well, uh, I graduated from political science. Uh, so the, the natural path for me was to work with, uh, uh, with politics or uh, with uh, diplomacy. Uh, which I joined the, uh, the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, 14 years ago. Uh, and part of my career was, uh, which I feel that it was the most interesting part where I proved myself that I'm uh, capable of uh, representing my country is uh, the four years I spent in Geneva working in uh, human rights and humanitarian issues. Uh, and I believe that these two topics were uh, very close to my heart, and uh, uh, that's why I managed to to have a connection with so many institutions in United Arab Emirates, and uh, uh, I start to be known as, as representative of UAE in that field. Uh, so, uh, 
and I think that's what make a difference in uh, in a career uh, life is when you do something that you really like and that you uh, you are motivated to give it even more than uh, uh, what's really needed and what it uh, what it is required. Uh, well, and the last uh, topics that from your questions that I would like to tackle a little bit is the uh, the cultural differences that I faced being uh, uh, an Emirati woman and worked for eight years now outside my country. Uh, I believe that uh, the Arabic culture is very uh, uh, conservative, especially the women in the Arabic culture. Uh, they themselves are conservative. Uh, but I believe that uh, they are not weak, they are not uh, uh, dependent, uh, they know what they want, uh, but uh, I believe it's the best way is that uh, uh, a woman given the, the choice to, to have her own um, uh, ideas, to have her own uh, say in her life. Uh, once uh, she has these rights, uh, uh, she can uh, deliver what, uh, what, she, uh, what she dreams of in her life. Uh, I believe is the interference in women's life is to protect her legally, to protect her uh, um, uh, from uh, uh, being, um, uh, uh, how do I say it, um, uh, being uh, put aside of the society. Uh, inclusion is the, uh, the question, inclusion and the decisions that uh, uh, take uh, uh, I mean, uh, that concerns her and concerns her life uh, and um, uh, having a say in the uh, uh, laws that protect her at the end to give her the chance of uh, representing herself. Uh, and, uh, uh, but in general, you know, and, um, uh, I always say that um, uh, as a, uh, Arab people we are very social. We we like people. We love to to have these direct con connections, and this is I think the uh, uh, the best way is to deal with uh, with women. And uh, I mean, uh, if you are really would like to include uh, uh, women in the society, you have to open the door for them to meet and uh, exchange ideas. And uh, thank you for listening for uh, to me.